Today we will talk about why Indian Army is upgrading its AK-47. Since 1949, when the AK-47 was first introduced, the gun's design has not changed drastically. We have only made it more ergonomic and improved the manufacturing techniques. Indian Army mainly uses six types of assault rifles, in which AK-47 is the only gun chamber in 7.62 by 39 caliber, and used in large numbers by the Indian Army. 7.62 by 39 caliber rounds are more effective than 5.56 by 45 caliber rounds in anti-terrorist operations. You have to understand that the ongoing urban warfare in Kashmir involves not only close engagement, but also mid-range fights of a distance of about 300 meters. And the 7.62 by 39 caliber round is perfect for this type of combat because it does more damage than 5.56 by 45 caliber rounds within 200 to 300 meters. Indian Army has not only bought AK-47 from Russia or Soviet Union, but also from the other five countries shown in the picture. If you compare the firepower of the AK-47 with the latest fifth-generation AK-15 rifle, there is no difference apart from the range. As you can see in the picture AK-47 has 99% accuracy at 200 meter which is enough for urban warfare. For long-range engagement, the Indian Army is equipped with SIG 716 rifle, which fires 7.62 by 51 caliber round, and has a range of around 550 meter. There is no information available about the AK-15 accuracy in the public domain, but still, with improved manufacturing technology, it can hit the target with 100% accuracy at more than 350 meter. AK-47s are mainly used by Rashtriya rifles for counterinsurgency operations. To conduct counterterrorism operations more efficiently, the forces have to be equipped with modern equipment like bulletproof helmets, jackets and vehicles, surveillance equipment and guns equipped with modern accessories. Well, we can manufacture or order large-scale AK-203, but the issue is cost and time. The Indian Army needs an immediate solution. Manufacturing of the AK-203 may start in late 2022 or early 2023 followed by its mass production in 2024, and it will take around 8 years to complete the deal. This means that we can expect a good number of AK-203 in the service of the Indian Army around 2025. Most probably it will be allocated to soldiers deployed on the Indochina border, and then soldiers deployed on the Indopak border. In conclusion, I want to say AK-47 is a very good rifle in terms of firepower and reliability. The only feature AK-47 lags are ergonomic. This means addition of modern equipment is very challenging and in some cases, it is not possible. The upgradation will turn the AK-47 rifle into a modern rifle without compromising its firepower and reliability. The upgradation of all AK-47 can complete within years. As AK-47s have been in service for decades which means soldiers are well versed with its functionality. So the acquisition cost, training costs, and time will be minimal as compared to a new gun. The cost of buying a new gun is equivalent to upgrading three AK-47s. In recent years, considerable efforts have been made by the Indian Army to upgrade the AK-47. Starting with Israel Fab Defense, and then an indigenous company. Both the companies upgrade the limited number of AK-47, and it seems the Army is not satisfied with the upgrade. Now SSS Defense has also upgraded 24 AK-47s.